Omaha, Nebraska, you know, uh, shouts out to uh, uh, our, our newest DJ. She, she's out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, She's been doing her thing, and uh, but we got a, a very special guest in the house. This time we got a you know special alert. Uh, 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 uh. So sometimes you gotta have that special alert, and, and we got a, a brother calling in, you know, um, and uh, we wanna let the people know. We wanna let the people know that he's actually gonna be here in what? How, how many? How many weeks? Ten. Actually, uh, two and a half weeks. A uh, Sunday. November 11th. All right. Sunday, okay. November 11th. That's uh, Veterans. Is a, we call it a Jazzy Veterans Day celebration. All right. All right. So, Omaha in Nebraska, you know how these stars are. You know, they got their own adjectives, nouns, <laughs> verbs, prepositional phrases. Oh, yes. And predicates. So, we'll let this brother into some stuff and then we'll get right into the dialogue. So, so how you doing today, brother? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Now, let the people know who, who you are. Uh, Julian Vines, jazz, national jazz basses, based out of Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, you know, I play that, so I play that mean here. funky bass, smooth it out, and uh, you know, I do, I do it all, man. Okay. Uh, been around the world, so um, I'm blessed to be able to have traveled where I traveled, had, had the uh, number one uh, billboard uh, songs I have four under my belt right now, so okay, you know, things are good, but uh, you know, I want them to be great, so it's still a ways to go. Okay, now, um, you sound like a young man. I'm 30, I'm 38, depends on how you look at it. Do I look young? Definitely, but uh, I'm 38. So, you actually, you're 38, man. You actually made a mark for yourself then, 38, because you, because you, most, most, um, uh, artists with your talent are you know, they in their 60s. You know, yeah. they, they, they they vets, you know what I mean? They, they actually put out records, you know, 445s. Yep. Um, what, what, what has motivated you to, you know, you know to, 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 to master your craft? Well, I started at 30 years old when I first came on, you know, to the scene. But even before that, just the, you know, the preparation, I, I had to, for me, I did my best to study the uh, the business before I got in it to see what kind of prepare myself what I was getting into. But uh, man, I always nothing has changed from the day I started until now. Uh, you know, I'm still hungry, and uh, you know, I'm trying to be the best version of me. I'm not worried about what any other, you know, what everybody else is doing, whether whatever instrument they play, whether that's sax, guitar. Bases, but the bass players out there, I'm only concerned with putting out the best music that I can put out, and uh, you know, so I'm in competition with myself. Okay, okay, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah the, the the best competitor is the one that you look at when you get up in the morning, without a doubt. Exactly. Now, um, you gonna be in the city? I am. Yep. Get to come back to Omaha. Uh, the people in Omaha, Nebraska. This with myself. Always, I like that. Yeah, they always treat me good. You know, people are always nice. And we, you know, for the most part, man, we have a good time every time we come up there. Great, great. Now, people didn't know that, uh, you, you know, actually, Kansas City got to just, you know, just, just got that, you know, that, that, that sound itself. Um, mm -hmm. You say you're in the studio right now. I mean, what you're working on right currently, now? Currently in the studio, working on my fifth record. Uh, right now, called, it's going to be called FYI. Uh, it'll be out in March. It's going to be having a, re a big release party March the 2nd here in Kansas City. And it's going to be bananas. So I've been in the studio every day uh, right now uh, when I'm not on the road trying to get it done and make sure it's perfect before I turn it in in uh, 40 days. Great, great. Well, you know, uh, I got my man here, uh, Tim Clark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna relinquish the mic over to him. He's gonna have a couple of questions for you. Also, I'm gonna give him the headphone so he can actually hear you. And uh, uh, go ahead, Tim. Hey, Julian, how you doing, my man? Hey, man, I'm doing good. Man. Oh man, hey, we're excited, man. We're excited to have you come back to the city, this uh, place we call the Good Life. 
But uh, you know, you know, in terms of just when you when you think about uh, one, um, you know, as a bass player, lead bass player, uh, who's some of the artists that you kind of looked up to or uh, uh, looked at as mentoring you in this whole uh, pursuit of uh, of your greatness? Well, you know, the the uh, the number one is. It's who I'm basically compared to every time I hit the stage is the late Wayman Tiz there. Oh yeah, that's my uh, guy, Wayman. He, he, he was, yeah, he was the, uh, that was the number one because he was the first lead basses I heard. Yeah. Um, and there were, there were lead basses before him, but I didn't hear about them. I didn't know about them. I found out about him first before I found out about everybody else. Okay, okay. So it's kind of like that first one. You kind of go with that first one. So I just kind of, you know, try to follow in the not the footsteps, but he laid out a, a blueprint on on how to on, on how to do this. Right on, right on. You know why he was living there, so I just tried to do that, but try to take it to another level. No, so, and and you know that's man, that's awesome. And and actually, the late uh, um, uh, um, what, 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 uh, you know, in terms of he's been in Omaha as well. Um, and uh, you know that's one of my favorite uh, lead uh, um, bass players as well. well. What should people, uh, you know, in terms of Wayman Tisdale, we know his style and how he brought it. But Julian Vaughn, you know, what right. should people expect? I mean, in terms of just from the moment you hit that stage, I know this is radio, so but you can help kind of bring that imagery to life in terms of what what will they feel. You know, you know give, the, you give, know give me a little bit. Of, give me a little bit, man, of, of what 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 to expect. Well, the, what separates me from a lot of um, a lot of artists out there, you know, especially on lead bass. You know, I'm just not up there just doing a bunch of chops. Right, bass, right. You know, I try to play the bass like a singer. So just like you go to a show and you hear one of your favorite singers and they just singing. They singing their heart out, and you feel in every note that right, right. The riffs. That's what you're gonna feel when you come to my show because I play it like a singer would, you know, would sing it. And you know, my music has a lot of soul. You know, for people that like the slow jams, I got you covered. People that like the up tempo jams and like to dance, I got you covered. And for those mid tempo people, I got you covered. You're gonna get it all at my show. And we're going to have fun because it's a fun show. And, you know, be ready to participate because I will ask the crowd to participate. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to turn up a little bit. We're, we're going to turn up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, now, if, if, if you break it down, if you break it down low, you got to make sure you can get up. <laughs> he said, if you break it down low, please be able to get up because we ain't providing any, no assistance. <laughs> No, no, no. Joining you on the stage, I uh, got to kind of get things to set the evening and kind of warm them, warm us up a little bit. Is going to be another uh, KC group, The Truth. I mean, what, what can you tell people uh, uh, about The Truth in terms of just what they should expect there? Uh, man, you like that good, that good R and B, that good music, that good music. The Truth Band got you covered, and The Truth Band they are known for that. Um, you know that 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 feel good music, and that is just what it's gonna do. It's gonna it's gonna warm you up. Right on. Uh, you know, so we're looking forward looking forward to a good evening. You know, come if you out there, you listen. Come, come on time. And yeah, because this is Sunday. Yeah, so you know, yeah, get your so church on in the morning. Right. Come on time. <laughs> you need to go get the Sunday afternoon nap like I do sometimes. Right. Do right. That. Come up and let's you know we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. And, and and one of the things, um, you know, this was presented by White Rhino uh, Productions, and one of the things they wanted to do, um, Julian, is is pay um, kind of respect and honor to our veterans. This is, you know, Sunday, uh, November 11th is Veterans Day, and so we, we, we most definitely want you to uh, think about a few songs you can kind of play in honor of our veterans as well. Definitely. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a, a local celebrity here, you know, kind of helping us uh, get us started 
uh, uh, DJ uh, Houston Alexandra and some grown folks music uh, right. as well. So we we go we have a little uh, sun, Sunday fun day, you know, turn up a little bit, a little, a little ju, a little. I was gonna say juju. He had a song called right. Juju. Right, I do. <laughs> That's right, right, right. A little jazz and the smooth right. jazz, R and B, and all that good stuff. You've been working. I mean, I've been watching you, man, and following you. Um, man, you, you, you're out there in terms of, um, I know you're in the studio working on uh, your next album, but when you, when you think about your next steps, I mean, you're doing festivals all over the country. Um, what, what's, 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 what's in that bucket list still for you? Uh, my bucket list has went to you know, just trying to travel in different parts of the world. You know, I still haven't performed in, you know, China. Okay. I a big music market out there. That's still on the bucket list. We, uh, hey, we're going to get that done. Uh, yeah, let's get it Let's done. get that done. I'm going to be with you, okay? I, yeah. I want to travel to China and all the places, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's on the best. So the, the real bucket list are, are out, of, out, of, uh, out of the country. And, and believe it or not, like people don't. Notice a lot of, uh, I mean, I hate to say it because, you, know, uh, uh, you know, we love the American people, but out when you travel out the country and you, you do this music, man, like they, it's a, a, it's a different appreciation. Yeah, it really there. is. And, and that's a whole other market out there. So I'll, you know, before I'm done playing, I want to be able to capitalize on all that. Yeah. So that's, that's, Everywhere outside the U.S., that's where my that's where my bucket list lies. So, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I tell you, it it that's it. And, and you know, it's, it seems like uh, I've had a chance to do some um, traveling abroad, and, and it just seems like they have a, a greater appreciation for um, yep. this genre of music, especially jazz and you know that Motown, that R and B music, and your high levels of appreciation, man. Yeah, we're, we're definitely spoiled here, man, because we can go anywhere and get that, but they can't get that out there like that. So. Yeah, you know, as, as you may know, uh, uh, Julian, back in the day, you know, Omaha and Kansas City had a, just a phenomenal, really music connection. I mean, with being the distance, you know, a little under three three hours. Um, yeah. And that's really I mean, both groups that we have coming. Uh, they represent Kansas City in a significant way, and that's what we want to do. We want to reconnect this K KC Omaha Music Connect. We're too close not right. to do more uh, together. We're just too close, and so um, cool. this this is the beginning and. Man, hopefully, man, some of your Kansas City fans, you get a bus and bring them to Omaha, and we do the same thing in terms of uh, trying to get some Omaha bands uh, yeah. to come your way. That's, hey, that's a good idea right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, uh, so so um, this is gonna we're going this is gonna go down um, Sunday, uh, November eleventh. Um, you told us what to expect. And, uh, you know, for, I'll tell you, man, I tell you, I, we, we got your posters and you all over social media. And I just uh, keep, yeah. I hear these, these sisters, I mean, some of these sisters, I man, you got some fans here, Julia Dow. Yeah, they, they come on out there and put on their nice dresses and skirts and come on out there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, the, word, the word on the streets here in Omaha, man, they called uh, uh, Big Chocolate, Tall Chocolate Brother <laughs> coming to Omaha. <laughs> So they yeah, they they are, and I told them you're gonna bring it. You you look the part, but you're gonna play the part too. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do what it takes to get them uh, in the mood uh, to to get that groove thing on. And so uh, I appreciate uh, you know, our sponsors, uh, you know, the boss, my man, the William King uh, here at ninety five point seven, and and uh, the White Rhino Productions, and uh, we have some other folks. Uh, uh, that uh, Rotella's Bakery and uh, American National Bank and some folks that are trying to uh, help us out because uh, what we're trying to do too, Julian, is uh, uh, those sponsors, they're providing some uh, resources so we can give complimentary tickets to veterans. Uh, we, want, we, we want to fill that space with some veterans and especially as we 
uh, celebrating in terms of uh, Veterans Day is only fitting to uh, to honor them uh, and by by doing something nice for them. And so we're hoping you know you'll do a meet and greet uh, that get oh, a chance definitely. to shake some hands and. No, you're bringing some CDs, right? You bring, you bring. Oh, de definitely, definitely bring. Okay, CDs. right on, right on, right on. And so, so, and, and as we're trying to, you know, just um, this this place, the, and it's going to be uh, people can get tickets at uh, etic. Uh, that's e t i x dot com, and um, it's going to be at the waiting room. This is, you know, Julian. It's kind of a cool little area. In Omaha, it has its own little vibe in, in you know restaurants and live music and retail businesses, and so it's a nice little area that's known for music. And so the waiting room is kind of a very uh, popular place. Um, Victor Wooden's been there, um, CeeLo Green, okay. Mike Phillips, and you know so. You, yeah, so you you know a lot of the folks that's been there. So it's a nice venue, quality sound system. And so, um, you know, uh, I don't have to tell you to bring your A game, your double A game. You, you, you know, I love dealing with musicians where I'm like, man, would you bring your A game? No, I don't. If I got to tell you to bring your A game, you the wrong one, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so we're excited, man, and, and just, um, um, you know, just let us know if there's anything we need to do on our end. Um, and, and so, you know, with, with you and, uh, and, uh, the truth coming to Omaha, man, and Omaha. And we tell folks, I always tell the folks in Omaha, man, we show up and, and we support live music. And so that's, uh, uh, you know, for the ones, and, and, and I, I kind of, I tell them this, Julian, more kind of just with, especially people I have a relationship with. I just tell them, trust me. Right. Trust me. Just show up, and and this this cat is going to take you on a ride, and uh, and and so that's uh, what what you know, folks that just you know, may may not know of your music, and we're we're really trying to educate them and, and increase the awareness. But uh, they they you know, we just tell them, hey, this is a must attend concert because the Kansas City Connect. And, and as far as you, what you're going to bring and what the truth is going to bring to the table, and they're going to have a wonderful evening, a wonderful evening. So, man, yeah. we, we thank you, man. Definitely. Well, King, I think we're good. I mean, is there anything else you want to tell the people out here in the heartland, uh, Julian? Uh, just, just be ready. Just be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Yep. And if, and if you are... Uh, Need any information on, on my music or, you know, just staying up to date, you know, my, my website, julianvionmusic.com. And you can find me on all the social media outlets. I'm always posting different things on there to keep up, you know. So maybe, maybe in Omaha very soon after this. Who knows? That's, that's right. Well, I tell you, man, and that's, we, that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. We want you to create a fan base here in Omaha, because, I mean, there again, it's just too short of a distance not to have more um, uh, world-class musicians that's so close not come uh, and be here uh, in, in Omaha more often. And so that that's that's what we're trying to do. And then we, we got some, I've been getting calls, man, from the last, you've been, you've been to Omaha twice, right? It's been two times. Uh, Three times? Yeah, three. I think it's three. Yeah. So so you got some fans and they 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 checking you out on your your uh, tour schedule. And so I'm getting calls like, man, you know, Julian Vaughn's coming to Omaha. And so you, you got you got some fans from the time that you have been here. And so uh, we most definitely want to activate them. Uh, the price is right. We try to keep the price very reasonable. Um, and so we can, we, folks can, uh, we don't want to create, uh, barriers, um, financial barriers, um, uh, for folks that just, uh, is out of reach for. So it's, it's very reasonable. It's priced right. And the value is going to be incredible. So man, again, um, you know, I'm going to most definitely, you know, shout out a few of my favorites that I want you to play. And uh, uh, but 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 you know you're gonna come and bring it your own way, and so I'm 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 really excited about that, man. Yeah, 
So thank you so yes, much for taking the time. And uh, we, we look to see you Sunday, uh, November 11th, right here uh, in Omaha, Nebraska, this place we call The Good Life. You know? All right. Right on. King, you got anything else, man? You good? Hey, He's good. Before you get out of here, uh, again, we appreciate you. Before you get out of here, we appreciate you uh, uh, taking your time out. Uh, great luck on your album. Make sure when you get it done, uh, make sure you uh, get it to us first so we can uh, debut it and, and we can follow up with another interview. Definitely, man. No problem. And, and tell him, man, tell him, don't forget. Uh, I, hey, don't forget, Julian. I'm working on my CD, man. I still want you to contribute a song to my album now. Right, so right. so uh, be thinking about a couple tunes I can check out. Do it, man. He said, "Let's do it." All right, hey brother Julian, we we'll really, we'll really appreciate you. Uh, again, make sure you uh, uh, get us that music when you uh, get it done. Uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you in a couple of weeks, big brother. All right, man, appreciate it. All right, take care. Take care, big brother. All right, Omaha, Nebraska. Oh yeah, I told you we would be bringing stars. Oh yeah, without right. doubt, and they're gonna be in the house. That's right. That's they're gonna be in the sad, house, man. and so uh, we want to make sure you guys come out. Make sure you guys come out. Yeah. That's right. Meet and greet. He's 38. He's tall, dark, and handsome like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, and, 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 you know, I'm not right. as tall as you, King, but <laughs> I, am, I am dark and, right. and, you know, and, and sexy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, right, right. All right. So it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of men in the room. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of alpha males in the room. And so uh, as you guys come out, have a good time, mingle, uh, network, but also come Do back and, and, and bring your your – your significant other and, and right. enjoy yourself. It's going to be a, a great time, yeah, yeah. And some some great music, yeah. and then and then also some some great spirits at the that's, same time. That's right, and you can do it with spirits there as well. <laughs> and the thing is this, you know, King. One of the things, man, and and Omaha has always been noted, especially it goes all the way back mid '60s, man, in terms of live music. And the only way we can really encourage and keep the confidence of promoters and can continue to bring live music, people got to support it. And right. sometimes it has to be where, you know, you, you know, you got to take the time to learn about that. And you may say, well, I don't know who Julian Bond is. You know, once you go and do a little research and learn about the brother, you'll know that we're bringing quality acts. This is no B and C type acts. This is a first class national artist that we're trying to bring to Omaha to help create this continuation of culture, right. you know, and, and, and sharing of, of a gift, especially jazz. Mm -hmm. Jazz was originated by, you know, black folks, right. African-Americans. And so if any genre of music we don't get behind and, and support, we better support something that we, that originated and right. started with us. Well, you know, we always want to take value of the word. You know what I mean? If someone calls it in, we want to take value of that yeah, word. That's, yeah. Get mad and fight. Yeah. But, our culture, we let everybody take it, take advantage of it, yeah. and, and make money off of it. That's right. And so, like I said, we need to start appreciating uh, what our ancestors right. have created for us. Absolutely. So come and get that jazz for that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I can't say what I really want to say, you know, but uh, but yeah, you got to come and get it. Uh, Sunday, uh, November eleventh. Uh, get those tickets at Hallmarks. We're gonna have some tickets at. LaFleur's uh, um, fashions as well. Uh, we'll put some tickets there and they can get them online at etic.com uh, VIP tickets or if they want to sponsor a veteran they can do that as well. Okay. If they just say, hey, I'm going to be out of town, I can't attend the concert, they can also uh, go ahead and donate to some dollars and we can, we'll can we give complimentary tickets to some veterans as well. I'm a vendor. I want to sell some stuff. Is it possible I can sell for a booth? Hey, 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 you're the boss. Well, hey, hey, I, I know that's a day of commerce. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> and I know you're trying to make commerce. Okay. So, they, 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 they say commerce. There's only only how commerce happens if there's an exchange of dollars. Right. <laughs> and so there's going to be a booth fee, but I guess no, no, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. probably have to. I'm pretty sure we'll talk to White Rider because I'm pretty sure what you're doing for us is, is, is no, it'll no, be a nice little trade no, there, man, because no, no, we no, appreciate no. what you do, man. Serious. Uh, the having this vehicle, a community radio station, man, all seriousness, we went too many years without having a, a vehicle to communicate, especially to our people. 
and this vehicle and you 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 have been you've trailblazed and made this happen so there's value brother in what you're doing and and i appreciate you and what you're giving back and creating a vehicle for people to communicate their talents gifts and passion and so thank you man thank you boss man oh praise to god <laughs> i'm just doing what i did in the projects we actually practice loving thy neighbor. There you go. See, you know that I mean? was that was. There's, there's really, there was a lot of commandments, but the two greatest commandments that lies in one of them. Oh yeah, love thy neighbor. Without doubt, uh, man. We ate for my neighbor. We borrowed from my neighbor. So, and we kept sugar, our eggs, flour. I mean, our, our neighbors kept us alive. That's right. right? That's right. It was. It, it really was. And I think that's. I mean, I know. You know, off subject a little bit, but as we look at this crazy world. And if we just practice what we preach all the time, Christian principles and, and love and all that, we just love love the neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Get to simple. know your neighbor. It's you know, simple. it's simple. Yeah. You know, and then sometimes you gotta score your neighbor. That's right. You know, I, I got a couple, you know, scolders. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. As long as you do it in love, right? Right. Do it in love. Yeah. Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we appreciate our brother Julian Vaughn calling in. He will be in the house. What's the date again? Uh, Sunday, November 11th at the waiting room in Benson. And doors open at 7. Show starts promptly at 8 p.m. Make sure you guys be in the house. This, this brother, uh, I mean, you have to enjoy people that, that actually manifest their God's giving yeah. talents. That's right. That's and so right. this is a brother that, that's doing it. Make sure you guys be in the house. You will be creating commerce for the local community. That's right. Uh, so small businesses what I doubt will yeah. prosper. Yeah. And it's gonna be an all seated event. So you can come. Okay. I mean, if you came last time to Mike Phillips, the, um uh, you know, it's gonna be different in terms of just it's an all seated event. Okay. So you will be able to walk in there, buy a ticket, and have a seat. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, right. So the first three hundred, you know, yeah, so get your tickets. So uh, it's gonna be we're gonna have about three hundred seats. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as capacity, and that's that's where it's going to be. Okay, what's the donation of the tickets? Uh, twenty dollars in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, VIP tickets are forty dollars, and uh, so you'll get you know, a meet and greet with the artist, and then also preferred seating. So of course you pay more. That moves you up closer to the stage. Okay, right, right. so and, and 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 so that's what that's about. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you get in early and get your seats and make sure you get some prime time seats and all that good stuff. And we have some local artists also. That's why we open it up. Uh, local artists is a D our DJ, our, our, our local celebrity. Um, my man, uh, uh, Houston Alexander is going to be on one and twos. Yours truly, I'm going to be hosting. So I may drop a few. I don't know yet, but I may bring my good jazz guitars and drop a few lines. Okay. In honor of Veterans Day, so you may, you may, I may come out of retirement, King. Okay, okay, you might as well, you, might, you, know, you know, how, you know how old school do it, man. Yeah, you got that crossover. I may, I may cross over. I, I was gonna say dunk. Dunking is only in my mind. Right. I never could dunk, but it was, that was just visualization. Hey, 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 you, can do, you can still do a sweet layup. There you, you go. I still got that crossover. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Omaha, Nebraska. Make sure you guys come out and enjoy yourself. That's uh, right. On the 11th. That's right. You can't miss the waiting room. Doors open up at 7 o'clock, and the show starts promptly. City for everybody. I don't care if you're 99 to 9. <laughs> That's right. It's an all-ages show. Come out, network, mingle, enjoy some spirits, but also have a peace of mind. That's right. Jazz. Some jazz for that. Mm. Um. Um. Also, uh, if you're a vet, make sure you, what's the number to call? 819-7773. All right, Omaha, Nebraska, we'll, we'll be right back with you. We got all oh, my man, John Tucker, coming in. He represents the Republican Party. Oh, yeah. What? The Republican Party? Yeah. Man, you know I love everybody. <laughs> See, you know, it's I love, like hey, neutral. Hey, yeah, 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 know, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 I love my neighbor. And then I know my history, too. That's right. I mean, that's from which we've come. Huh? Yeah, don't get mad at me. Ooh, because that's where we started. Yeah, Most of us started. I, you know, thank you, Mama, for my education. Yeah, Republicans. So, uh, oh, hey, we all start as Republicans. That's right. So uh, a lot of people don't know. So we're gonna talk to both sides. Get get educated. That's good. You got to know both sides. Oh, hey, we gotta be fair and balanced. That's right. For real. There you go. And we do it for real. So if you wanna uh, uh, hear about the Republican Party, 
Uh, they were going to be on about 4.30. Uh, we're going to be talking about up. some other business stuff. I think my man Winsley supposed to be coming through. Okay. And we're Winsley talk, Duran. We're talking about hopefully some, some okay. contract opportunities. Yeah. You know, yep. try to get some, some, some minority contractors some opportunities to, yeah. to do some business. There's um, a lot of construction going on in the city. Mm -hmm. You know, millions of dollars. So there's opportunities, just like, you know, we talked the other day about opportunities for trades and all that good stuff. There's so many opportunities that people just need to take advantage of. Also, you had, uh, you run an opportunity where people get scholarships. Yeah, yeah, actually, we're paying for tuition fees and books uh, for industry professionals seeking certifications or two year associate degrees in the trades. Um, come and see me uh, at Metropolitan Community College. You could um, just walk in Building 22 and let them know that you have interest mm -hmm. in uh, the Johnny Rogers Scholarship, and they'll direct you and get you get you started. At least started with the process okay. uh, to see if you qualify. So it's need based financial uh, financial aid, uh, GP, GPA 2.0, mm -hmm. uh, and then you have to uh, be uh, in one of the trades in terms of one of one of one of, but you can go online and fill out the application now we have a, over a hundred people that have already applied and so don't hesitate my donors are telling me king hey man don't don't there's no top just keep recruiting and so right. i don't have no limitations right now okay and so just folks you know uh come and 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 we're gonna fund as many people as our dollars will allow us to fund. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I don't want to hear no more excuses. I don't want to hear no more excuses. No more excuses. There's, there's no opportunities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's 18 to 99. Sorry, <laughs> 17 to 9 year olds, because uh, they will be spirits around. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but, but like again, yeah. Um, that's that's going to be. Yeah, uh, it's opportunities, and, and, and we, it's time out for excuses, uh, and 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 in a lot of cases, man, you know, especially with MCC Metro Community College, we're going to meet you where you're at. And so, you, you know, if you if you're in a job, if you want to go part time, full time, and you're having challenges, we're going to help try to work through some of those challenges. But you, first, you got to come and talk to us. Okay, without a doubt, yeah. we, we actually got a, a recent MCC graduate right here. He's uh, what's uh, up? Yeah, he's, Okay, yeah, so we got a graduate okay. from MCC, gainfully employed, oh, just yeah. living his best life or in hot pursuit of it. He just, just lean back, like <laughs> lean back, <laughs> lean back, like that song. Huh? See that? That's working on working on that four hundred one k. Yeah, yeah. You know, we we get those those those, those degrees and stuff. It makes life hopefully it's a little yeah, bit easier. Yeah, of course, yeah. it's a little bit easier. Man, because because actually you invest in itself. You invest in self. When you invest in self. I mean. Love you yeah. more than you. That's right. And some in and, and a lot of cases, man, these certificate programs and two year associate uh industry professional mm -hmm. jobs, thirty to seventy five thousand dollars in terms of in some cases that your starting base salary. I'm gonna challenge on you. You and Johnny, you and the jet. Johnny the jet I Rogers. Fast. I'm gonna catch him though. I'm gonna catch him. Okay. Uh, but he say you want to come in, but we're gonna have both of you guys come in. Okay. And and actually, we need to make sure MCC is putting dollars behind. Yeah. Yeah. The brothers, all like that. <laughs> dollars behind the brothers. Okay. Oh, 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 so, so like that model. Say so, okay. Oh, oh, that sounds good. So dollars behind brothers. Oh. Dollars. <laughs> Like, hey, see, hey, see how you put us, see how you put me out there publicly, okay? And we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna take that public challenge, and so <laughs> we gotta make sure y'all looking smooth. That's right, that's right. And so what we gotta do, and 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 my challenge, and you know, Metropolitan Community College, you know, they're spending dollars in North Omaha, and we're gonna really look at ways that we can make sure dollars has been coming your way, King. We got we got to make sure it comes around to uh, ninety five point <laughs> seven the boss, boss. and so we, most definitely, most definitely. Oh yeah, what I doubt, but but you guys are lead, and, and we want to make sure that everybody That's right. take advantage of the opportunity. Absolutely, right on. And it shouts out to all the listeners. Uh, I just got some great news from uh, mm -hmm. uh, the radio consortium. Uh, our stats have gone up. We're, we're around about. Uh, 
9, yeah, about nine thousand uh, a week now. And then our listeners, now this is major. Uh, our listeners are listening to us four and a half hours every day. Wow. That now that's major. That's major. So we want to thank everybody that's that's been listening to the station, supporting the station because we're a diary market. That that means that means you actually you are writing it down. You are actually writing us down. So we appreciate you uh, taking the time, filling out the diaries. And I seen uh, William King and the trade papers. I meant to tell him congratulations too on all the work that he's done because when Nelson and, and, and media bases uh, are acknowledging uh, community radio stations, then you know that William King is doing work. Because if you look at the trades, it's not even five to ten community based radio stations nationwide that has as many listeners as the boss. Okay. So that was that was the president CEO of White Rhino Production. Uh, you probably didn't didn't hear hear him totally, but basically, was saying in terms of when you look at the trade publications, um, uh, what King has done here locally is starting to stand out nationally in terms of his his footprint. That as uh, far as uh, listenership, folks that are listening, so he's penetrating not only here in Omaha, but he's 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 penetrating. His value is increasing and his demographics nationally. So it's working. And what comes next is those paychecks, those trade, like you like uh, 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 from White Rhino, Calvin Williams is saying that the, the trades will be attracted because people, trade and money follows people. Right. And so that's what's happening and that's what's going to happen. You just stay steady, man, stay faithful. Those dollars are coming. Yeah, they're coming, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to come over here and get this microphone so they can hear you, brother? The demographic in Omaha, if you look at our population, it's only 419,000 people that live here. And that's the demographic that we're trying to target. So it's only 419,000 people that live in the inner city. And 31% uh, of, of us is my yeah, yeah, come on, come over here so I don't have to repeat what you just said, <laughs> okay? Because they can hear you. Has a foothold on on twenty nine point nine percent of the minorities in, in North, not even in North Omaha, but within the, the North Omaha region of the Omaha Council Bluff area. So, I think they, they actually measure by county, and so even though we're a low power station, our 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 signal don't don't reach the whole county. Yeah. However, but we, we is, but we reach it through the app, which is on a nationwide right. level. But also, if anybody that's older that can remember... Uh, the app is powerful, uh, you know? Uh, which is now 94.1. Uh, they started out as a as a, as a low-tier radio station. Brother Hassan, what's up, brother? As, as, as we I tell you, I tell you, uh, man, what I love about your app, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the feed here, the live feed, and there's folks from Phoenix or folks from all over that's tuning in right now. Right. Uh, Brotherly Love out in Phoenix representing Scottsdale. Oh, yeah. uh, brother, uh, brother Hassan. Uh, I was supposed to be out in uh, Dallas with him uh, last week. Sorry, brother, couldn't make it out there. <laughs> uh, work called. Um, it just it was just I couldn't make it. But uh, it's just good to see, man, that the penetration and how we're reaching people uh, nationally uh, with the with really technology that we have now is just pretty pretty significant. So yeah. Man, I hey, you know, I don't have my checkbook with me. No, 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 uh, I don't, no, no. I, I didn't, I didn't no. take up enough of your time. No, so, no, no, you good. We, uh, we have, we have MCC write some checks for the brothers. Yeah, you and Johnny <laughs> MCC and then, write and checks then, uh, for uh, the uh, brothers. No, no, man, but we like trickle down economics around yeah, here. Yeah, right, right. We like trickle right. down. Trick, let's trickle it yeah, down. Yeah, it's gonna be trickle <laughs> down. Yeah, lunch meat there with some go. cheese <laughs> and some bread. Right hey, hey, look, hey, my man, uh, my man we, I got next to me. I don't know if the folks can see my man here. Oh, yeah. oh they can see you. Okay. This is, this is, this is, uh, hey, come on. So, uh, 
the one oh, you're not no more. Look at hey, how you talking about he want to be anonymous oh, and he making all that noise. Oh, you been on he air. making all that noise on the side, you know. And I'm like, brother, come on now, they can't hear you. So this is the president CEO of White Rhino Production. Uh, his partner is Tim Anderson, and so um, the Julian Bond concert is presented by White Rhino Productions. Uh, Calvin, I mean, but this is the man that's well read. He he really uh, he studied this game in terms of just radio stations and concerts, and uh, he's always calling me in terms of just man. Uh, this 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 artist is doing this in terms of number wise. They putting this m- many people in the seats. This is how much revenue they've generating. Uh, we need to d- put together some investors and have them come to Omaha. So, Miss Kate, would you want to say hi to the people? Say it. Well, I just want to uh, I just want to irritate uh, what you said earlier. You know, I want to I want to thank William King for uh, everything that he's done to expand my business. Okay. As far as, uh, you know, letting the people know what we're doing. And uh, for those that don't, you know, Bill, William King been uh, with me for about 20 years. Wow. Before the radio station even started. I remember when he used to just talk about it. And I used to be like, William ain't going to do no radio station. But uh, he, he done did it. He done did it. And, uh, and, and for people that that's, uh, listen to this station and can't believe... I mean, the only thing that this man can't do is uh, people think he's not competing with these bigger stations, but he is because he's got he's going to take over the streets. He's going to places to where corporate America won't go. You know what I mean? And that's that's down there on 24th Street. And uh, we well, actually actually the corporate is coming here. Oh, they coming without doubt because but, uh, but it's, yeah, it's, because but, it's, all, it's all about market share. And it's it's it's, it's because method. it's because of the, the the chance that you take. You know, they, they wouldn't know about this without you. They wouldn't know about me. So uh, I want to appreciate, you know, let you know that I appreciate that. And I do, uh, my business has expanded from you handling your business. My business is, is, is getting handled. So, uh, you know, I, I, want, I want everybody that's an artist or a promoter or, or, it, or anybody that's done any marketing in, in the community to, you know, they, they have to, to, to give props to Bill King for, you know, not taking no for an answer. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Uh, you know? And then uh, uh, even when they, they try to sway you, T.I. had that song called Motivation. Oh, yeah. So uh, being an athlete, you got to look at uh, constructive criticism as constructive criticism. Yeah. Um, and hopefully I, I look at it to, to make me better. So we, I want to praise, thank you for, for, for all those Acknowledgement, but I want to thank God and I want to thank God, uh, the gods, because maybe my, my home will be talking, we'll be talking about plural versus singular. That's right. The gods. The gods. I want to thank the gods uh, for, for uh, making this path without a doubt, because right. uh, I'm telling you, and I'm just a, a little kid from Hilltop Project. I used to be. Man, I was on the Hilltop water. Project I too. Water. I used to be in water and stuff like that. So I'm just a little guy. So you can do the same thing. That became a giant. You know what I mean? That became a giant. It became a leaper, a donker. I mean, this guy used to be my water boy in terms of and, and Martin, little Martin Luther King, <laughs> but he just surpassed us all. And, uh, Skills and, and ability. And, uh, when I, re- I still remember the chant at Monroe. No, not Monroe. Macmillan. They'll say, water boy. Water boy, that's the boy. See, even back back in the day, you had that just that recognition. That man, hey, had recognition. You know what I mean? They had a song after me and everything. <laughs> but 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 then you went on, man, and you went to high school and became really just all American, and you know, started and played for Brian and. And then with Midlands College, you're in the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, Hall of Famer. Yeah, uh, mutual Hall of Famer, right? Yeah, uh, no Benson. Yeah, Benson. Yeah, Benson. Benson. I'm a Benson Hall of Famer. Yeah, so we're two two Hall of Famers. Shout out, shout out, okay, shout out, okay. Shout out, shout out Hall of Famer. You know, we gotta get a we gotta get a little Hall of Fame ring or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Over so, Nebraska, man. We really appreciate y'all. We about to get out here. Like I said, we got another special guest coming up. We're gonna talk some politics. On the Republican side, like I said, we're really fair and balanced. We, we, we boss our destiny. That's right. Um, I'm telling you, when you limit yourself 
you limit yourself. It's, it's just that simple. So if you're not at the table, then usually you're the menu. And so uh, uh, I remember be at the table and I encourage us to be at every table that we can be in. Or be at. That's right. You know, right. my sister would correct me. Said, Man, you know you can't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that right. <laughs> you know, I have a sister. But you know what I mean. Right, right. You know what I mean. But I'm telling you, we had to be at every table. So I encourage you to be at every table. No matter what people say, you shouldn't do it. We need to be at every table so we can uh, project our yeah. influence. Yeah. And and this, there, I mean, what's going on in this country, King, I know it's hard. When I'm with you, man, it's hard to stop talking. But, but the thing, man... November 6th yes, yes. is the election. It's just, uh, we've seen enough. If, if folks, if we haven't seen enough to, to really force us to get up and do something about our current situation, we have to let our voice and our vote, votes be heard. We can change the situation that's happening in our neighborhood, in our community. And then in three years, we can change the situation that's happening in our country uh, if we choose to. But it's like, uh, we don't, like you said, hey, Democrat, Republican, participate. Do, I do something, but don't, don't be complaining and saying, well, dang, you know, I don't like how this person, I don't like what's happening in our city. If you want better do better and get involved in the process to make yourself better and make your situation better. Right now, in this, out. In this argument that uh, our vote don't count, then why are they uh, putting up restrictions oh, yeah, for, 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 for our vote, especially the sister down in, in Georgia? So I don't want to hear that argument that, that our vote don't count, count because because the other side is putting up restrictions. Yeah. So, so the, make the, it the first difficult. sister to be a governor in the United States they're putting up roadblocks. So our votes do, do matter. So stop with that argument that that un, unintelligent, ignorant. Oh, Man. yeah, I'm attacking all y'all. <laughs> ignorant yeah. argument yeah. that our vote don't count when they actually putting rules in place uh, to suppress. Uh, the our ancestors had to count jelly beans and all kinds of stuff. I mean, but y'all fools, y'all uh, take it for granted, though. Y'all forget about your ancestors. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, do. I'm mean, gonna let me get out of the air. Yeah, yeah, you kind of get, you get, get, yeah, I see it in your face, dude. Because, you I mean, get kind of, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they, I mean our, yeah. our people are always so ignorant and say our vote don't matter, but they forget about their ancestors. And without their ancestors, they wouldn't even be alive, they wouldn't right. even exist. Yeah, there's a whole lot of people died for our right, but it don't vote. matter. It don't matter. So many people died, it don't for matter. Right, it don't matter. So but you cannot I, take it for granted. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, they probably want the one picking cotton or any change. Now, yeah. they, they got the good life. I got a car now. Yeah, I got a little bag. You got this now. good life because of your ancestors and people in terms of the shoulders you step uh, that you stand on that came before you. So, here before the best. I, so me too. Yep. I appreciate them. Oh, I, I can never forget my ancestors without a doubt. So, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. That's why we call ourselves the boss. Because we boss our destiny. Yeah. Without a doubt. Saying. We ain't hot, right. cold, we ain't sweet. Yeah. We ain't no keg. Right, right on. Yeah. We ain't no frog, none of that. We're the boss, period. Yeah. yeah. So Omaha, Nebraska, yeah. that's why we leading the one, because we O N E. We're the one also. Oh yeah. Don't that, and that oh baby. You can't mess <laughs> that with that. That's pretty good there, but the one boss. <laughs> without a doubt. The O N E yeah, yeah, leading the one. The one. We well, I tell you, I tell you, and, and man, I tell you, we we gotta we gotta have to talk about this whole thing. Our, our new slogan for Nebraska is, um, what is it? Um, Everyone's not welcome. <laughs> Everyone, yes, that's true. I mean, that's 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 our slogan, dude. And so that's a whole nother conversation to have a state slogan in terms of just everyone's not a welcome. Or something like that. Somebody put on Facebook or something what it is, but I know it's something. It, it creates this. Um, uh, it sends a strong message. Chris fear that we don't want you people in our state. Mm -hmm. I call it life in the city. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Don't get mad at them. Don't get mad at them. Omaha, Nebraska. 
Uh, we're going to be right back with you. I'm talking to my man, Tim Clark. He has his own show. What time your show come on? Bro? Yeah, it comes on uh, NBC Omaha Heartland Focus every Sunday at 6 a.m. is early. But you can also get it online as well. But that's every Sunday, Heartland Focus, NBC Omaha. Right, right on, out. brother. Thank you, my man. All right, Omaha, Nebraska, we're going to be right back with you. We're going to talk some politics on the, on the Republican side. We're going to hear uh, all the candidates to make sure that we, we get led in the right directions. In the meantime, oh, yeah, boss with us. We're trying to get. Everybody put some stuff, man. Yeah. I told yeah. you, I see it on the view. Oh, it's four. Yeah, they feed us real good on the Really? Uh, so we probably, we ate, we probably see if we can get some of those restaurants.